So I've been a little under the weather over the past week, and that's the reason that I haven't put out a lot of content. So now that I'm ready to jump back into it, the first thing I needed to look at is what did I miss in the world of entertainment? So if you thought I wasn't going to make a video about Marvel Studios admitting failure and once again proving me right, then you haven't been following along. Let's discuss. Our, our content sucks. Our, our content sucks. I watch so you don't have to. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. So just a few days ago, we received news that the upcoming series, Daredevil Born Again, that may or may not be a continuation of the Netflix series, is hitting the full reset button and going back to formula. As Marvel Studios announced that they have now released the writers and directors associated with that show. Anybody care about what I want? I do. Shut up. Get out. This is coming after the news that Marvel is planning to overhaul its entire TV division. This is coming off the lackluster response to some of their more recent Disney Plus series. According to Discussing Film on Twitter, Marvel Studios plans to make changes in how it makes TV following internal criticism. Shows will now have proper showrunners that write pilots and show Bibles. Also, as part of this overhaul, a focus will be put on multi-season, serialized TV rather than limited series. Okay, so there's a couple of different things to tackle here, but as far as this decision being based on internal criticism, while I do not doubt that certain people who work under the Marvel Studios banner probably have complaints about doing so, I mean, it does seem like a pretty unfulfilling job when you consider the lack of creative freedom that they typically have. I still have to push back on this just a little bit, if in fact it is true. I want to ask you a bunch of questions, and I want to have them answered immediately. So the fact that they're basing this on internal criticism, does that mean they've been ignoring all the external criticism? Which admittedly, there isn't enough of, but believe me, it is out there. People have been saying for years, including myself, that Marvel's current content feels very lazy and uninspired. And a lot of people balked at us for saying so. We're just Marvel haters in most people's eyes. Really, so these unnamed creators who took issue with Marvel's lack of a central vision, are they haters as well? Are they haters for saying that a lack of vision has resulted in a working environment that's filled with nothing more than creative differences and tension? Please, I need to understand, because for years now, people have been telling me that I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to Marvel content. But here you have actual current or former employees confirming most of my suspicions. Man, I'm tired of being right. Can someone please explain to me how Marvel is just now getting ready to hire showrunners for their different shows? That's a pretty important position when writing television that Marvel has completely neglected up until this point, apparently. A showrunner can make or break your show. So yes, you have to choose the right one, but that's true of any job, especially in Hollywood, where you have writers, directors, and yes, showrunners. Believe it or not, yes, it is necessary to take a little bit extra time and look for the right person for the job, instead of just hiring the first person who walks through your door or somebody that you know you can control. It helps to hire people with a vision. People who can help you create these quote-unquote show bibles that will help keep these shows organized, coherent, and logical before, during, and after shooting. That makes sense. It's very alarming to me that Marvel Studios has approached making TV shows without having these things. I mean, that's something that an incompetent film studio or TV studio would do. Yes, I know, Marvel Studios has made a boatload of money in the past. But what have they done lately, besides ruin their brand with these type of lazy decisions? Here's what really happened. Marvel got complacent, and they believed that their fan base are a bunch of idiots. They thought they could put out whatever, no matter the quality, and people would praise it no matter what. They have been formulaic and uncreative for some time, but apparently there's only so much that modern audiences can take. I'm pretty surprised by that. At some point, you have to start offering people more than cringe comedy cameos and easter eggs. Especially if you want them to stick around and stay interested in a franchise that's been going on for this long. In reality, Kevin Feige and Marvel Studios should be trying harder this late in the game 
but they decided to get comfortable instead. And I get it, success can make you comfortable from time to time. But that's also how we ended up with these garbage shows with little to no planning or vision. Congratulations, you played yourself. I don't want to hear anyone ever question my logic on this again because they're telling you that I am right. It's just that people like me had the foresight and the standards to call this out ahead of time. Do you think that I actually hate Marvel as a brand? No, I actually love Marvel. I always have. I just hate what Hollywood has done to this brand. They have turned it into a shell of what it once was. Marvel has this rich history of characters and stories that have inspired and entertained people for decades. And those people know that Marvel is capable of so much more than what we are currently getting, and they have dared to demand better. Being a Marvel shill and praising everything they do unconditionally does not make you a fan or an authority on this subject. You don't have the right to tell these fans that they aren't allowed to speak out when they see the characters that they love being treated poorly. Not up in here! Not up in here! It's Marvel Studios' job to create something that is worthy of our praise, and they've just not been able to do that lately. And now these changes have all but confirmed that they weren't even trying to make something good. As far as stepping away from the limited series template and focusing on shows that run for multiple seasons, that suspiciously sounds like you're going to be making more content when in fact you should be making less. I cannot stress this enough, quality over quantity will always win out. We don't need 10 seasons of Loki. What we need is one solid season of something with great storytelling. Call it a limited series, call it whatever you want. But the format isn't the problem. It's the people you have working on these shows and the constant studio meddling that's the real issue. How hard would it be to take pitches from random creators and pick the best one of the lot, rather than trying to force certain projects into existence for unknown reasons? I don't get it. Do we need an Agatha the Witch series when we have a plethora of other characters to choose from? Who made that decision? Apparently Kevin Feige and Marvel Studios made that decision. When they should be leaving, coming up with concepts to shows to more capable people, like independently thinking writers and showrunners, for instance. Werewolf by Night was one of the best things that Marvel put out in years, and do you know why? Because it felt unique, and it felt far removed from the typical Marvel formula. It felt like someone had an interesting story to tell. It's great that Marvel realized what they need to do now, but it's also very telling that it took them this long to come to that conclusion. They needed to see their properties finally failing in order to take action. And that is the very definition of reactionary. And that's just not the proper way to tell stories, and anyone who can't see that is either blind or completely delusional. So I strongly suggest that you wake the f up. Y'all be cool. Right on.